It's officially fall now and we're so excited to start wearing full outfits. But what are the trends that are actually wearable? I haven't done a fashion trend video in a long time, but fall is one of my favorite seasons to dress up for actually. So let's discuss where the fall fashion trends for 2024 and see if we can recreate it from our own closets, but in a more modest wearable way. Disclaimer, just because it's a trend doesn't mean you have to follow the trends. It's just nice to get inspiration from. At the end of the day, just wear what makes you feel comfortable. Now let's start the video. So the first trend we're gonna talk about is animal print. All the animal prints are actually trending. So like zebra, cheetah, and of course, a leopard print. Leopard print is always a trend and it's one of my favorite. I don't think it's ever gonna go out of style. So if you don't already have that in your closet, it's definitely one worth investing in unless you don't like that print at all. But this year it's actually not just like wearing it as a top or a bottom, but it's like the whole outfit with it being head to toe. I'm not gonna do that. That's gonna be out of my comfort zone. Maybe just as pajamas, of course, I can do that, but I wanna walk out in full leopard print. But an outfit I would wear with leopard print would be a long skirt and like a solid color shirt. It's the perfect balance, not too much leopard print but if you do have a leopard print shirt you can match that with something at the bottom being solid color so it won't be too out there but the, there is the trend with it being full but you don't have to go that extreme <laughs> another trend i've been seeing is like the shoulder pads i would only do that with like blazers i feel comfortable with wearing because it's gonna make you look more broader on top and I already kind of am broad on top. I feel like I don't want to do too much on top, but it's not just blazers. You can also have like shirt, long sleeve shirts that has like a built in pad on top to make it more broad. I feel like I have these puff sleeves on. Kind of gives an illusion that it is like a shoulder pad a little bit, but this style I definitely would do puff sleeves, but the trend is shoulder pads, so. Suede, if that's how you pronounce it, is the next trend. <laughs> it's not spelt like how it sounds, to me at least. But what it is, is soft leather, fuzzy looking material. For the trend, you often see it with jackets, shoes, purses. And I do have a button up in that material. I believe it's that material close enough. And also these uh, boots. I think this one's definitely soft. This one's more on the rougher side. Next is patterns. Prints like camo and plaid are popular. It's funny, I really love those prints as well. So, you know, I guess trends and me can get along sometimes, but this trend could be paired with other trends as well. For example, my camo pants with the suede trend felt like the colors went together because it's just a solid color button up. For plaid, I've been seeing it with skirts and blazers. I actually don't have any plaid skirts right now or blazers because I've gotten rid of all my mini skirts. I don't wear those anymore. Kind of outgrew those. So I definitely want to get like a long plaid skirt in the future, but I love an old good plaid button up shirt. That is such a classic for fall, it has to be. I wear every year even if it's not a trend, okay? Not that I'm following the trends, it happens to be a trend. So this next trend's pretty cute. It's button up cardigans, like in the 1960s and the 2000s. It has the buttons all the way up, but they don't have a button all the way up. It's actually just like the first button. So you can see the rest of your shirt and it's buttoned up on the top, which I thought was a very cute style and still a modest style to wear, especially if you're wearing, you know, a tank top. But I do wear tank tops a lot because it's hot here in Florida. Some people are not comfortable wearing tank tops, but I am so hot. I don't wanna be sweating in my shirts, so. I'd rather wear a tank top. But once it starts to get colder, I definitely will wanna wear some more cardigans. Don't have many button up cardigans though. I have one in this video, but it's my sister's. When I go thrifting again, that's something I'm gonna look for. <laughs> Let's talk about color. Deep red colors are trendy, specifically like burgundy and dark cherry red. 
which is very wearable and I always see this in fall and winter I feel like. You can wear anything from shoes, accessories, purses, clothes, <laughs> you name it. <laughs> I do like this color. I wish I had more in this color, but I do have a few pieces. I did add my red purse to a neutral outfit to add a pop of color. I did have a red satin dress that got scratched from my cat Reese. Wonderful surprise. But I did get the chance to wear it to a wedding actually last fall. Depending if it's cold or not yet for you, you can wear like a red sweater dress. I have one and I'm probably gonna wear it when it starts getting colder in winter because it is like a thick material, that one. The other trending color this year is like khaki, olive green colors. So again, like the last color, anything in that color you can wear pretty much. <laughs> However, I have seen some people wear like lighter color greens, which I don't like that color. I think I do have one thing in that color, but I don't know, I don't like that color. Not for me. Other colors you wanna look for to add to your outfits is coarse brown and probably dark orange, black. I feel like those are obvious colors to wear in fall. This next trend I really love, it's fall floral flowers like this dress I'm wearing. <laughs> it's pretty much the fall colors, but with flowers. And you can wear tops, bottoms, dresses. I mean, I haven't seen many people wear shoes. So that was another classic that I love wearing. So this next trend, I don't think I'm really gonna do it this year, but it's prep school. This one is for grownups, inspired by school uniforms. <laughs> But of course, if you are in high school, you can still be inspired by this. For this trend, you wanna wear button down shirts, ties, cardigans, vests, tailored pieces, and of course, pleated skirts. Now, people are wearing mini skirts. Of course, if you're not comfortable with that, wear longer skirts. And I don't have one yet. Like I said, I don't have plaid, cause you can wear plaid skirts for this trend as well. But I do wanna get a plaid skirt that's long and a pleated skirt that's long. It doesn't have to be full skirts. I want something that's not mini. I want something more of a comfortable length. <laughs> but nowadays they do make skirts. We have shorts built underneath or you can wear your own shorts underneath. But I don't have time for that. <laughs> and the ones that have squirts built in, I just don't feel comfortable still wearing that because people are still gonna be looking. And also, if you don't like wearing skirts at all, you can wear tailored pants, which will go with this trend as well. I'm more of a girly girl, if you can tell already. I definitely wanna get more longer skirts so I can start wearing those, include that into my style. Which brings us to the next trend, full skirts. Cause it, you know, once it starts getting colder, you'll see people wearing the longer skirts and maybe thicker skirts too. For me, I probably wouldn't wear thicker skirts unless again, if it got cold, staying with the thinner material skirts. And of course, mini skirts are a trend but I'm not jumping on that train. But remember, you, they make tights now that are thermal, which are thick and soft, and they keep you warm. So you can actually wear short skirts in the winter. I do have a pair of those, so I can wear, if it does get cold with a shorter skirt, if that's something you're comfortable with wearing, definitely invest in a pair of thermal tights. You can even wear the thermal tights under the long skirt if you're that cold. So this next trend, I actually did this trend last year and I still kind of do include it. Western inspired. I'm not changing my whole lifestyle, but I like including the little Western you know, style, the look, including like cowboy boots, long skirts, button ups. We can wear fringe, like fringe purses and fringe skirts. I don't think I own a fringe skirt, but I own a fringe dress. I haven't got the chance to wear that one yet. Of course, for this style, you can wear a cowboy hat, but I tried that. It's just, I feel like out of place when I wear it around my town, I guess. Some people might think I'm a real cowgirl living on a farm, but I'm not. 
I'm not a poser. It's just I'm inspired by the pieces. This next trend, you can mix it with Western inspired actually. Boot cut jeans and wear like your cowboy boots with it because boot cut jeans look good with pointed toe shoes, I believe. So you can also wear those shoes, heels that are pointed toe as well. But yeah, you don't have to be Western for that. It's just I would be styling it that way. I still wear skinny jeans, of course. That's something I've always wore. So so I still have a bunch of those, but I try to change it up, not just for the trends, but for myself, because I do get bored of wearing the same clothes all the time. So I do change it up a little bit. For the shoes trend is structured boots, not boots over the knee, because that used to have been a trend with boots over the knee, but the trend is under the knee, I guess, which can be styled with all the trends, of course. And also kitten heel boots. I don't own a pair yet, but I definitely wouldn't mind trying that out in the future because they're supposedly easier to walk in. These fall trends are always reoccurring. Some of them you may love or don't. At the end of the day, it's what you want to wear. I don't have a specific style, but I like to try different ones out for fun and get inspiration from them. Why put yourself in a box, right? <laughs> Anyways, I hope you got inspiration for this upcoming fall. Check out my other fall outfit videos for more inspiration. And remember to like the video and subscribe.